Week 38 is marked by the first Deception Tours weekend of the year at the end of the week. Every year, three weekends are organized on the Wardenal of Vlieland, which often guarantees sightings of rare species. Before we see what that weekend yielded, let's start at the beginning. On Monday, it was found that the lesser scorp and the ringneck duck were still present at the Vogelmeer. The buff-breasted sandpiper was also still there. Unfortunately, the bird was last seen on Monday, because I had plans to go see it on Tuesday after work, as this bird will be observed much closer than the one on screen from Ruithorn. The long-billed dowager from Tessel was also still being seen at its new location on the Waddensee near the Coxdorp. The great snipe, found last week, was also briefly seen in the morning, but disappeared afterwards and was not seen again. The first new find of the week was an adult American golden plover molting into winter plumage, found by Jeroen de Bruin on Tessel. It could very well be the bird that wandered through the Wadden area all summer. The bird was mobile in a large group of golden plovers and was seen in Wagiot and on the Wadden Sea around the Schorren. The Pacific golden plover was also seen again, this time in Zeeland. One was found by Robin van Dijk and Tim van Oerle. The dunes near Amsterdam also delivered again. A juvenile woodshed strike was found there in the morning of the 21st, but stayed only for a day. When identifying juvenile woodshed strikes, one must always consider the possibility of it being a mask strike, but that was not the case here. Slightly less rare, but still a crowd pleaser, was this pectoral sandpiper, the first in 12 years for the Arnhem area. The bird was found by chance when I decided to go bird watching in that area just after work. On the last day of the week, a white stress was found, unfortunately another window strike victim. It shows that the species is not as rare as it seems, although the number of field records suggest otherwise. This is the 24th case for the Netherlands and the 19th not found in the field. Ok, so what was found during the first deception tours weekend? On Friday, a red-breasted flycatcher was found on the east side of the island, a bird I would have loved to film as I only have footage of an adult male of this species. However, with two kids under the age of two, it's challenging to attend several weekends a year. Hopefully I can join more Deception Tours weekends soon. On Saturday, two dotterels were found all the way out on the Fliars. They became popular later on because they allowed close-up observation. Sunday also delivered a find. Not a hoped for mega rarity, but hoopoo is always fun. When I went to Fleeland a few days early in 2021 for the Deception Tours weekend, I also saw Hoopoo in the village. Unfortunately, that one was gone before the weekend began, so this was a nice makeup sighting for some friends. It's always fun to check what was found on other Wadden Isles as well. Both Tessel and Schimonekoog reported the fly over Dutter Isle. However, seeing the bird on sight is always more enjoyable. Furthermore, a corncrake was seen on Schimonekoog, although it was not twitchable. It's always fun to see a corncrake this late in the year. On Terschelling, a second calendar year pellet harrier was seen. Tessel also had a nice barbed wobbler that was switchable. On the same island, up to three flyover Richards pipettes were noted. Or was it one doing a few circles? What should we be on the lookout for the rest of the week? Last week of September is the time when most Palace's grasshopper warblers are seen in the Netherlands. A sighting in the UK confirms that they have already arrived in Northwest Europe. It's also a good week for rustic buntings. A tame rustic bunting, like this one some years ago, would be fantastic. I'm in for that. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.